Evangelical leaders held an urgent summit at a Texas ranch this weekend and threw their support behind Rick Santorum as the conservative alternative to Mitt Romney. Meanwhile, the pimp and prostitute coalition has found their favorite among the Republican presidential candidates. Are you suggesting that heroin and prostitution are an exercise of liberty? Well, you know, I probably never use those words. You've put those words someplace. But, uh, yes, in, in essence, if I leave it to the states, it's going to be up to the states. Up until this, this past century, you know, for over 100 years they were legal. Well, you're inferring there are strict rules on freedom of choice of this sort because you can't hurt other people. You can't defame other people. But, yes, you have a right to do things that are very controversial. Joining me now from the Moonlight Bunny Ranch in Nevada, owner and proprietor and HBO star Dennis Hoff and two women who work for him, Hustler Centerfold Cammie Parker and Miss Caressa Kisses. Uh, Dennis, thank you very much. And, and the women, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, Dennis, you uh, while the evangelicals were having their uh, discussion down at that ranch in Texas, at your ranch, you were discussing uh, with your employees who you want to support for president. And who is that? Well, here's what happened. You know, the girls love a good caucus. And I polled all the girls, all 500 girls. And it came up with this. You know, we're in the sex business, so we don't want anybody to tell us who to sleep with or what to read or watch. So typically we have to vote for Obama. But when Obama signed the bill that where you could start with the legalization of consumption of horses, they lost them all. They're not going to vote for Obama unless Hillary's on the ticket. So we polled the girls, went down the Republicans. Newt Gingrich, we like Newt, Newt, even though he's a cheater. He's a big cheater, in fact. But we can't vote for him. We can't trust him. In fact, we do have a Gingrich party here. When he, when you're with your bunny, our lawyers will file a lawsuit and divorce uh, your wife. So we're, we're doing that for. Him. So we went for we went for Ron Paul it, because Ron Paul is for states' rights, and that's why prostitution is legal in certain parts of Nevada. And so we went for Ron Paul, and we're pimping for Paul, meaning we are supporting Ron Paul. And, uh, Caressa, I know uh, pimps can be very persuasive people. Uh, Did you come to this decision to support Ron Paul on your own? Yes, I did. I love on a national level that he served in the Air Force and his medical background. I really believe that he cares genuinely for people's lives. He takes them in his own hands on a personal level. He wants to back um, the Internet staying free, which could definitely uh, cost me and the industry I'm in. And again, state rights. I have a job because of state rights. So there's so many interests that he has. He's from Texas. I'm from Texas. I think that he, he is a valiant man of honor and integrity. And I think he'll do a wonderful job for this country. And Cammy, uh, he may be in favor of uh, the state's uh, uh, legalizing prostitution, but he also said this in 1990, and I wonder if it shakes your support for him. He said about uh, Martin Luther King Day, boy, it sure burns me to have a national holiday for that pro-communist philanderer Martin Luther King. I voted against this outrage time and time again as a congressman. What an infamy that Ronald Reagan approved it. We can thank him for our annual hate whitey day uh does that bother you at all cammy <laughs> well of course and you know nobody's ever going to agree with everything that somebody says and every point that he says but i feel really strongly about his support for states rights and freedom of choice all right dennis cammy and caressa thank you very much for joining us from the ranch in nevada thank you very much you can have the last word on Okay, you can have the last word in our, online at our blog, the MSNB, lastword.msnbc.com. The Ed Show is up next.